Hey, this is Rowan Kavner with Fox Sports. We're here at Dodger Stadium. I'm going to show you around for the MLB All-Star Game. There's no better place to start than right here at the top deck. You can see behind me the downtown Los Angeles skyline. You can't beat that. You can see also the beautiful vegetation here. Uh, I don't know if most people know this. Dodger Stadium itself is actually a registered botanic garden. So wherever you are in the stadium, you're going to see uh, a lot of plants that can kind of work and are drought resistant through the whole year. So uh, some beautiful shots here. You're not going to get better than this, but there's also some beautiful shots inside. Let's go take a look. So you can see here Vin Scully's microphone right here. Actually, before you get into the gates, we're still at the top deck. You got the team store behind me, but this right here is the retired numbers plaza. You see Vin Scully's microphone here. You got Jaime Harin's microphone there. You got the rest of the Dodgers retired numbers, and it gives you a little bit of information, uh, both in English and Spanish, uh, about uh, all of these players. And in this case, uh, a Hall of Fame broadcaster. So a little interesting thing just before you get in to kind of get you situated. One thing about Dodger Stadium, wherever you are here, there's a tie to the history of the stadium. And I think uh, the retired numbers plaza is just one of many examples that you're going to see. So we're out of the reserve level right now at Dodger Stadium. And if you're out here, this is a great spot for families, for kids. You can see these oversized bobbleheads. They all have jerseys of actual Dodger jerseys that they have worn since they have come to Los Angeles. And the bobbleheads do bobble. So if your kids want to play with it, they are able to do that. It's a little jungle gym here. So a lot of new kids play areas. Uh, Janet Marie Smith, who's the executive uh, vice president of planning and development with the Dodgers, has expanded all of these areas. She's been there for a decade, and that's been uh, a, a really big point of emphasis for her. Kids play areas are one of those, but uh, just all around the stadium in terms of expanding the areas that you can for walkways, for different plazas. She's done a lot of that work. So a lot of different kids friendly areas. This is one of them, but pretty much any level, especially once you get out to the center field plaza, there's a lot of areas for kids as well. So here at the gold glove bar under the left field pavilion. So if you take the steps down when you're at the center field plaza, you can see all of these gold glove awards. There's 46 gold glove winners in Dodgers history, you see Steve Garvey with a lot of them, Willie Davis, uh, Russell Martin, you go back to Craig Maddox, Willie Davis. So this is the area just outside, but let's go check out what it looks like inside. It's the Tommy Lasorda throughout the center field plaza. A lot of these photos uh, that you'll see out actually throughout the plaza were handpicked by him, but uh, Obviously, he's meant so much to, to the Dodge organization and recently passed away. So they found ways to, to, honor, to honor Tommy and what he's meant to the team. So you see this walkway here. This is for the legends of Dodger baseball. Uh, it's a new thing at Dodger Stadium where the team is honoring some of the players who have really meant something to the franchise but aren't Hall of Famers. You think about the retired numbers here. A lot of those players all are Hall of Famers. Obviously, there's a lot of people who have made their mark on the Dodgers without doing that. He ends with Don Newcomb here, who Rookie of the Year winner, Cy Young Award winner, MVP. So uh, with the history of the franchise, uh, actually especially in Los Angeles, but going back to Brooklyn as well, there's obviously a lot of players who have made their mark. This is their tribute to them, and it'll continue to expand as the years go on. So as we are walking through here on the club level, who better to chat about this than Janet Marie Smith, who we just bumped into, who is responsible for overseeing the expansion of the ballpark here. Janet Marie, uh, Let's have you chat about some of this. What are some of your favorite parts? Uh, there's so many different areas of this place that it's kind of its own museum, but it's like museums within a museum. So of this area here on club level, what's some of your favorites? Well, we're standing in front of one of my new favorites. These are the 1962 lockers that we took out when we expanded the clubhouse in 2013. And every year we do something different in them. But this year, Gary Cypress of the LA Sports Museum has put Mem original memorabilia that he he owns devoted to the Negro Leagues. So we often talk about the fact that we have two Negro League exhibits here at Dodger Stadium. We really have three. I mean, this includes Roy Campanella's jersey. Like, this is some cool stuff. Yeah, let's walk through it. I don't know if we can get a, a, a good look of some of this stuff here, but uh, you mentioned Roy I mean, Campanella. This, here it is. Like, that is amazing. Like, to have that original jersey with his, his autograph on it. And over here we have Don Yukon's, like, like this is like Dodger royalty, right. but celebrating just an amazing part of the history of baseball. When the Dodgers came to Los Angeles from Brooklyn in 1958 and Walter O'Malley brought the team and they're playing in the Coliseum for a few years, this here was what he eventually envisioned. It might have looked a little different. I think they even talked about maybe being a fountain in center field at some point. So some of the elements were different, but he wanted somewhere that would stand the test of time, that for future generations would still be somewhere that he was proud of. 60 years later, this is Dodger Stadium. You see the elements of the 60s of the past. You look at the seats and the colors and some of the forms here. 
but ultimately 60 years later it has stood the test of time a lot of renovations a lot of upgrades i'm glad you got to see some of them so far if you're coming out here for all-star game i hope you're able to experience a few of them i hope this gave you a chance to see them i need a hot dog so that's what i'm gonna get go get yourself a dodger dog hope to see you out here